Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to be showing you how I cover up my roots just to make me feel a little bit better. Obviously we all can't go out at the moment so I can't go to my hairdressers and I don't really want to be looking in a mirror and having a constant reminder of why I actually can't go out and see her. My hairdresser is also my cousin, she is absolutely unbelievable. I usually just hand my head over to her, I don't even ask questions anymore, she just gets on with it, she's absolutely amazing. I pay her, we have a hug and I leave and that is it. So having to do my own colour at home is pretty daunting. Also, when I first started seeing Laura, my cousin, who is my hairdresser, my hair was in such bad condition. I mean, it was practically dead. I had done so many things to it to ruin my hair. And she has, over time, really looked after my hair and made sure that my hair is in great condition. So I don't want to ruin that in the space of time where I cannot see her. So I don't want to be using a box colour. Obviously, if you use box colours at home, that's absolutely fine. But I know my hairdresser would absolutely kill me if I ruined this now for the sake of a few weeks. So the products that I'm gonna be using today are completely washable. They wash out in one wash and you can really play around with these. They were specifically introduced to market to make sure that you could prolong your colour for that couple of weeks longer so that you saved money, you didn't have to go to the hairdressers as often. Maybe if you went to the hairdressers every five or six weeks, you could start going to the hairdressers every seven or eight weeks with the use of these products. They are super, super easy to use. I used them just before I did an Instagram Live video the other day and you would not have noticed that I had roots at all. It was that good. So let's get straight on with this video. Please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm also on Instagram and I'm doing quite a few lives on Instagram at the moment. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces, if you want to follow me on there as well. Now the products that I've been using are by ColorWow. This is by no means a new product. In fact, I think this was the first product, if not one of the first products, that ColorWow introduced to the market years ago, absolutely years ago. But it is the first time that I've trialed this out because I've never felt the need to trial it out before. And I can definitely tell you these are amazing. Now these are a little bit like brow powders and I've bought these in several different colors because my hair is lots of different colours. Laura puts quite a few different shades in my hair. On the underneath we tend to go quite light because this is where all my grey hair sits, usually in about this section here. And then I go a little bit darker to the back where my hair is slightly darker and there are less grey pieces coming through there. So I've bought quite a few shades. Obviously if you've just got a one tonal colour on your hair you won't need to do this. So this is the dark blonde which I've got for the darkest shade in my hair. I've also got the shade that is just called blonde and then I've got the shade which is Platinum Blonde. Now, Platinum Blonde is the one that I've had least success with. It's still absolutely fantastic, but you have to have really quite light hair to begin with. If you have grey hair and you dye your hair Platinum Blonde, then this will probably work for you. But I just wanted to mention, this is the one that I've had least success with. It's still very, very good. I just don't find it as excellent as all the other colours. They also come in lots of other shades as well. So there are lots of shades of brown. There's also a black if you have really, really dark hair. Just absolutely fantastic shades to choose from and they really do blend into your natural hair colour. So these are £28.50 each recommended retail price. They do often have discounts on their products. It is rather pricey but I really like them. One, they work and two, I don't have the faff of a box colour. I also know I'm not going to damage my hair in any way, shape or form. I can experiment with these with different colours and know that these are going to wash out. 
And also these are really quick and simple to use. Very, very quick and simple. Now, like I said, these are supposed to prolong your color for a couple of weeks. We've been indoors for a lot longer than that. So if you were due a haircut and a color just before the lockdown started, you're going to be using a lot more of this product than it was recommended for in the first place. Doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you, it still is going to work for you, but it will last a little bit less time than it would have done if you'd have just been covering up a very small amount. These are supposed to last for 60 uses. Now, I'm not quite sure how they've worked that out because it depends how much root you're covering over. If you're just covering up one strip of root, then yes, maybe 60 uses, you'd be able to get out of it. But if you're like me and like to flip your hair from one side to the other, you're gonna have to do one side and also the other side and maybe your hair parts in the middle as well and you're gonna have to do in there. So I tend to use this when I'm having my hair up and I know my hair's not going to move that way. I'm going to get the most benefit out of this product and it's going to last the longest. Now, all of these packs come with a jewel ended brush. One side is a lot longer than the other and far more flexible and then the other side is a lot shorter, more dense and you get better accuracy with this one. So if you do have streaks in your hair like I do, I would definitely recommend using the small end. In fact, I've got much better results using the small end all over my hair, even if I'm doing quite a large surface area. That is the end that I recommend. You can apply loads of pressure with this and really get the colour where you need it to be. Now there are two reasons why you would use these products. The first reason is the most most obvious, you are covering up root regrowth. The second one is slightly less obvious, but it's absolutely amazing. If you've got any thinning hair, if I was to pull my hair off my face, so you can see all the roots there, but as you can see here, my hair is actually quite thin. If I was to use the Color Wow products on this area, it would fill in that area of hair, making my hair look so much thicker. So let's just part the hair in this direction so that I can show you a root touch up on this side and show you how I do it and how it's recommended to do it to get the best results. So I'm gonna use the blonde color here and I'm really going to dig that brush in the color. You cannot be shy with this. You really need to pack the bristles absolutely full. And then you need to really pull your hair as taut as it will go. And then you just brush the colour on really firmly. Can you see how that's already made that area of hair so much better? So that bit is already done, completed. I'm going to do this front portion for you so you can see it from the front. So take each individual section and really pull it taut and then get some of your colour and just paint that on. The hair really does need to be taut and you do need to add quite a bit of pressure. There you go. So much better. So much better. I'm going to add a little bit of the dark blonde into this so you can see the darker the colour the better the results really is fantastic let me part my hair for you right down the middle and put my hair up and show you the second way you can use this product okay so i've got my hair pulled back and parted it down the middle so that you can really see all the exposed roots and also around the edge here is gray and around the edge here is gray. Not massively noticeable because I keep my hair quite light to disguise the gray so I can go that little bit longer in between salon treatments, but definitely visible all the same. So I'm gonna take my blonde shade and really dig the brush in there. By the way, I've used these quite a few times already and they don't even look like they've been touched. There's a little bit of fallout in the pan, but other than that, you wouldn't know that any has been used. So again, pull that hair really taut and just draw 
that on the hair. Already looking absolutely fab. I'm going to take some of the dark colour and do that here where I've got a little bit of dark. Then go back into the blonde, get a little bit of blonde and pop that there and keep going like that. So then I'll take a little bit of dark and pop that there. Then a bit of the blonde colour again and pop that in there and just keep on adding that as you feel like you need it. I have a little bit of silver that's shining through here so I'm just going to cover that over. So as you can see on one side you can't tell that I've got roots and on the other side, this side, you can quite visibly see the silver poking through. I'm just going to take a little bit more of the dark and cover over in this darker section back here any of the grey. So I'm going to leave one side completely untouched because I'm going to show you this in natural lighting a little bit later on. But let's just cover up this area here where you can see the grey poking through. And for that I'm going to use the Platinum Blonde just over here and really rub that into the hair. I'm also going to take some of the normal blonde shade. Like I said before, if you've got one tonal colour, then you won't need to buy several of these. It's just because one, I wanted to try them all out and two, I do have quite streaky hair. Look at that. You would never know Never know. Right, I'm going to take you downstairs and show you this in natural lighting so you can see the difference up close. So as you'll see, we're starting on the side with the grey that hasn't been coated and then we move over to the side which doesn't have any roots on it whatsoever. It's all blended in really nicely. There are no greys behind my ear. It's all blended beautifully. Really, really nice. You can clearly see the difference on the top of my head. Excuse the bit of fluff that's in the top of my head. Really sorry. Didn't know that was there. And then we finish on a fantastic shot of my ear. So that's it. That's how I cover up my roots and prolong my hair colour in between trips to the hairdressers or when I'm not allowed to go out of the house. That is how I achieve it. There are other products on the market that are very similar to this that you can use. It's not just Colour Wow. If you've tried the Colour Wow Root Touch Up before and you've not liked it or you love it or you've had problems with it, do let everybody know in the comment section. Also, if you've tried any of the other products that are very similar to this, also let everybody know your experiences with those products because they may be slightly more affordable than these. And if there is another affordable alternative out there, please do let everybody know in the comments section. I really hope you found this video helpful. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.